So the patient has got an obvious hump. Quite, you see obvious hump, and you see on the on the on the oblique view, the obvious hump, the underprojected tip, the underprojected tip, short columella, and the obvious hump. But I already have done the tip blasty, and I did oblique dome division, columella strat, tip graph. So we got nice tip projection and more tip refinement from above ABUC. Now my main concern in this video, we are concerning on the hump push down technique. So what we have done already, already septoblasty, give me Mark and Ben. And in the septoblasty, as you know, this is the caudal septum there, and this is the dorsum, and this is the maxillary crest there. And we have the uh, upper lateral cartilage, and then the nasal bones there. So what I did, we already did septoblasty, and we went about one centimeter behind the caudal septum and 1.5 centimeter behind, uh, below the dorsum septum, and we evacuated, removed the cartilage and bone from this area, and we also released this, this small section there on the caudal septum in order to allow the dorsum to drop down. If you don't do that, the dorsum will have a resistance from below and it will not drop down. Even if it drops down on, on table, it will, it, will, it will bound up again a few months after surgery. So very important that you evacuate this, this or you remove the cartilage from near the maxillary crest and the bone in order to have enough space to, for the dorsum to, for the dorsum to uh, drop down. Okay, so now what we are going to do, already I have marked, give me good mark and bend again. I have marked the uh, edge, edges of the bony pyramid there. You see the bony pyramid at the edges there. So this is the bony, bony hump now. This is the edge of the bony pyramid. This is a marking of my, this is the last, last this is the uh, proximal portion of the hump there, where the hump ends there. So uh, this is the side of my lateral osteotomy with the preservation of the small piece of bone. Again, uh, side of my lateral osteotomy and the preservation of this small piece of bone there. And this is, you see the bony hump extend from this point up to this point, and it's only cartilage there. So uh, this is now the marking of my double midlateral. So we'll be doing double midlateral. Why we do double midlateral? Because we need also to weaken this area here and allow, allow for the hump to go down. We, need, we had to make this area weak, this area weak there, and this will also give, give free, free movement of the of the hump down. If you don't weak this small uh, area, you, the, the, again, you will have resistance and the hump not will, will not go down. Again, now, we do transverse osteotomy at the point of maximum, maximum bone, 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 uh, the maximum convexity, convexity bo point of the bone. The most convex point of the bone is there. So we do, again, a, a transverse osteotomy there. And in this way, you're able to mobilize fully the hump and, and push it down. So we start first with the mid-lateral, double mid-lateral. We start with the upper mid-lateral there, just below the hump. And again, as you are pressing on the egg, you go through the skin, the boreostium, and you don't go through the endosterium, I mean the inside inside membrane of the bone. So this is the upper uh, mid-lateral there. I go for, you see, down, down, push down, about two millimeter, and do the second mid-lateral, double mid-lateral, so I have this now, the area of bone between the upper and lower midlateral is weak now and allows the hump to, to go down. And then now I will do the lateral osteotomy, start from this point, going up, going down, going up again. I will preserve this small piece of bone. So we do, you see, up now, up, down again, and up, follow my line, for my drawing line all the way through. So we have done now the uh, lateral osteotomy, starting from there, going up, down, down, up again. And now we do the other side, again, the mid-laterals, doing the upper mid-lateral just below the hump. And again, as you are exactly pressing on the egg and leaving the inside membrane intact. Again, you should see you push down, you push down and go two millimeter below the first Mid-lateral, again, gently, gently, 
Now we have done the upper mid, double mid lateral. Now the lateral osteotomy. Down, up, down, up again. So preserve this piece of bone. Gently. Okay. So now we fully uh, mobilize the bone. And then we do the transverse osteotomy, start from there. And you see with your osteotome in vertical, you see your blade in vertical, put your camera on my blade, not like this, in vertical position. And try to go up on the hump again. So we are breaking the convexity, point of maximum conv convexity on the hump, going through the same hole of the midlateral. And, and then we'll go up, up, up to here, from there to there. Follow my line, you see. So we break in the convexity of the bone. And you see now, you see it was, was now uh, cold goes. You see fully mobilizing the bone, right, left, right, left, left, right. And now I will push with my finger. I will push with my finger now on the, on the dorsum. You hear, I hear that tick, 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 there, so it's, it's all down now. And you will see now, and now if you look now on the side of the, over my shoulder, take the profile over my shoulder, and you see now how straight the dorsum become, because the hump, you see the hump bush down, went down now, nice step projection, very, very straight dorsum compared to, to before. It's called the hump, hump bush down technique, as you see, hump bush down technique. So it's quite, quite nice, safe, and this will will uh, not get any roughness or irregularity on, on the dorsum. You keep the dorsum smooth and nice, and you see with nice, nice, nice results. Okay, so this is, you have seen now how we did the hump bush down technique. I hope you found it uh, useful. Thank you.